In this video, we'll demonstrate just how quick and easy it is to set all environmental controls for CO2, H2O, temperature and light on the Cyrus 4 portable photosynthesis system, all of which can be set individually or through easily programmed scripts for automated response curves. One way to manage the environmental controls is through the menu system. From the main menu, tap on the control tab. Note the submenu tabs along the bottom of the screen for CO2 and H2O, temperature, light, and flow rates. Let's start with CO2 and H2O control. Here users have the ability to control CO2 and H2O concentrations. There are four CO2 control options available. You can control CO2 to approximate reference air, which is ideal for response curves especially when changing the CO2 concentration at multiple levels. We can control CO2 to exact reference air for users that want to work at a specific CO2 concentration for an extended period of time. Fixed analysis air allows users to control the sample or analysis CO2 concentration. And for users that want to work at ambient levels, this option is available as well. Let's select reference air. You can use the slider control to increase or decrease the CO2 concentration, or simply enter a new value by tapping on the current concentration button which in this case will be 500 micromoles per mole. Now let's have a look at H2O, which also offers four control options. Fixed percent of ambient, which is very common. Fixed reference millimoles per mole for users that want to work at a specific H2O concentration. Constant VPD or ambient. As with the CO2, you can use the slider to set the H2O concentration or manually enter a new value. Let's leave it set to fixed percent of ambient at 80% control. Tap on Temperature Sensor Measurement to view the available options for leaf temperature determination. In this case, our two options are Energy Balance and IR Sensor. We're going to leave it set to IR Sensor. Tap Temperature Control Mode to view all available temperature control options, which include disabling temperature control completely, controlling on cuvette temperature, tracking cuvette temperature to ambient temperature, controlling to a specific leaf temperature, or we can track leaf temperature to ambient. Let's select cuvette temperature. Use a slider on the thermometer or manually enter a value as with the other environmental controls. Let's set the cuvette temperature to 27 degrees Celsius. Now on to light control. Here users can control RGBW settings, PAR, and far red light intensity. Let's keep everything as is with the exception of PAR light intensity. You can increase or decrease the light intensity using the slider or manually add a new value. Users can control both the cuvette and analyzer flow rates from one location. Flow rates can also be adjusted by using the sliders or by manually entering a value. Let's change the cuvette flow rate to 350 cc per minute. Navigating back to the main photosynthesis screen, you can now see that our reference CO2 concentration is reading approximately 500 micromoles per mole and our H2O concentration reading at 80% of ambient based on this location. You can also see that our cuvette temperature is controlling at 27 degrees Celsius, our light intensity at 1000 micromoles per meter squared per second, and our cuvette flow rate is at 350 cc per minute. You can also set the environmental controls faster and easier directly from the main photosynthesis screen simply by tapping on the individual tiles, saving valuable time in the field. For example, let's have a look at the CO2R tile showing our current reference CO2 concentration. The current control set point of 500 is displayed in the upper right corner of the tile, which I can change simply by tapping on the tile. Now notice the new control value in the upper right corner of the CO2R tile. The CO2 concentration will stop dropping down once it reaches its new set point. Let's do the same for PAR and change the light intensity to 2000 micromoles per meter squared per second. Watch how quickly it achieves its new set point of 2000. Are you ready to elevate your research? Contact us today to schedule a virtual demonstration of the Cyrus 4 Portable Photosynthesis System, fourth generation portable powerhouse elevating the high level field research experience worldwide.